come on, could my game load any slower? It's almost been two minutes already. <sighs> It's me, Emily, and welcome back to another video. My game updated, officially. So now I have the new intro screen, which I've already seen a few times, um, because I was playing Sims earlier. And I really like it. Like, I know that there's a lot of controversy with it at the moment. A lot of people don't like it because it's very, like, basic, and the other one was just kind of so bright and out there. But I don't know. I like the way it looks. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so guys, the moment we have all been waiting for is here. We're gonna be starting the new Sim series. I'm so excited. <laughs> I really am. Um, now that there's like some drama going on in like I'm stirring the pot of drama in our Island Living series, I want to start this new series. Um, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> like, I mean, obviously, but I'm really excited. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm gonna have to introduce these new sims to you guys. I'm so excited because this like includes a new storyline that I've never done. You'll just have to like see, but I'm really excited. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Come on, could my game load any slower? It's almost been two minutes already. <sighs> Come on, game. I swear it's taunting me. Oh my god. <laughs> game! Uh, now it's going as slow as can be. And it stopped again. Oh my gosh, game. Hard times. Gonna make you wonder why you even try. Hard times. Gonna take you down and love when you cry these nights. And I still don't know how I even survive. Hard times. Hard times. I'm not gonna hit who I but I'm Ooh. I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> okay. I cannot handle myself right now. I'm getting really hyped. The new intro screen. I don't mind it. A lot of people don't like it because um, before, number one, there's two things that people don't like. They don't like that the actual like play new game load or load game and change profile thing is bigger, which I get that because it kind of like distracts from these like random, you know, game uh, expansion pack screens or whatever on here. Which, I mean, I understand, because those were always really cool because they had this, like, big thing. But now it's kind of a little bit smaller and people don't like that. Which, I don't really, I don't really mind it. I think it's fine. I like it. Um, so yeah, and then another thing that people don't like is that these little, um, like, expansion packs used to be different colors to, like, differentiate, you know, between them. And this time they're not, they're all the same color, which is kind of annoying because you were able to before like see the color of the pack and know which pack it was because they were all so different. But I mean, it is what it is, so yeah. Um, we're starting a new game and I've already created our Sims. What? Why is it taking so long? Oh. Hi, would you like to create my story? We'll start with a fun personality quiz. Afterwards, you can customize my appearance. No thanks. I'm not 
not down for that at the moment. I'm trying to get these similarinos into my game. Okay. Who's, who are all these random people? I want my sims. Okay, there they are. All right. Here are my sims. Let's put them in here. I just got anxiety, but I'm so excited. Oh my god, okay. This girl, I love her so much because of two reasons. Number one, her appearance and like her personality per se reminds me, like, well not really her personality, but her appearance reminds me of Chloe Price. Her facial structure and everything reminds me so much of Chloe which I love, which was kind of my inspiration for her, which once again, is, I love it, so. Um, I also love her outfit. I love almost everything about her, you guys. Like, she's, she's adorable. Um, something very different about her that I've never done before is um, I had her, like, her storyline, I guess, is that she's transgender. So she's able to get other sims pregnant. I'm not completely sure how that works, but I know that before my sim and my, like, Price, uh, was it Price? Yeah, my Price series, um, and the Taylor series, um, Noelle's, uh, like, girlfriend was able to get sims pregnant. And that's how Little Ryder became to be. But now, um, because I didn't start Roxy as being pregnant, um, Cadence is her name, Cadence Flynn, um, I started her off as being, um, transgender because, well, number one, like, here's her profile, I didn't try to go too crazy, um, but I did give her a little bit more of a defined jaw, or her jaw and a defined chin and a little bit of a, a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit oh my god a little bit of a bigger nose and a little bit smaller lips I don't know why I did that I just kind of thought that you know kind of worked I guess and it made me think a little bit more masculine like frame but I don't know it's just it's a very different thing that I've done I've never done that before but I really really like her I think she's adorable so yeah this is her everyday outfit. As you can see, she has blue hair. Love that. Um, so let's go through her outfits real quick. Obviously this is her everyday outfit. I haven't given them two um, everyday outfits yet because I plan like how I do with Island Living. I'm gonna go through and change their outfits depending on the seasons and like what I got bored of and everything like that. So yeah, <laughs> I'm like really hyper right now. Okay, so this is her everyday outfit. This is her formal outfit. Um, I kind of went a little bit more of, I don't know. I really like this outfit. I would so wear this outfit, like, all the time if I had the option to. Um, and this is like her hair down. I couldn't find a hairstyle that I loved on her for like her hair being down and everything. Which I'm still not completely set on this hair. <sighs> I would much rather do like something like this, but it doesn't have the same part as this hairstyle does. And yes, I used this hairstyle. The reason it looked so normal was because she had a beanie on. Don't come for me. I'm not lying to you. I used that hair. <laughs> um, I think I'm just gonna go with this one because I don't know it suits her a lot more. I don't like the way that the other one is flipped over because it's so big. I just, I don't like it. I don't know. Not a fan. But anyway, um, this is her formal uh, outfit, which once again, I love it. <laughs> anyway, moving on before I get too, you know, in depth with her outfits. This is her athletic outfit, which I think is adorable. I love it, so yeah. Moving on, here is her sleepwear. Kind of just basic. Once again, I'm gonna change her hair to the middle part one because it suits her more. <laughs> here is her party wear, which once again, I love it. This girl's sense of style 
I just, I don't know, I really, really like it. But anyway, here's her swimwear. Cute. Here is her hot weather wear. Once again, cute. <laughs> and here is her cold weather wear. Very gothic chic, which I like a lot. So, yeah. This is Cadence Flynn. Um... I named her Cadence because um, the way I'd always like made their storyline, well, I'll get into it then. <laughs> I'll explain their storyline in a minute. Here's her voice. Calm little bit interval. Oh. And a prep hit off. Which I probably should have made a, home with a little bit more mild. Calm dipper womber. But I don't know, I feel like a higher pitched voice like that uh, suits her a little bit more. So I kept with it. She wants to be a, what? I did not choose these traits. What in the world, <laughs> game? Okay, um, ignore that. Uh, I wanted her to be, I don't remember. I made these sims so long ago. Oh no. <laughs> Um, what did I want her to be? I cannot remember. Oh no. <laughs> um. Oh crap. <laughs> uh, I think I wanted her to be... I wanted her to be a party animal. I, th I think. I don't know. Um, I know I wanted her to be... Oh no. <laughs> They're all slipping from my brain. Um... I want her to be outgoing. <laughs> Cute. Um, I wanted her to be a cat lover. <laughs> Cute. And I wanted her to be a art lover as well. That's that was her traits. I I don't know why it gave her the traits it did, but it did not go with what I wanted it to go with. I don't know. Okay, anyway. This is Cadence Flynn. And then here is her twin sister, uh, Quinn Flynn. <laughs> I didn't realize that her name, like, rhymed Quinn Flynn. Um, which I kind of went a little bit different with her. I made her, they're twin sisters, so I made them identical twins, but they were twin siblings. They weren't twin sisters at first, obviously, because you know, Cadence is trans, so I made um, little Quinn have a little bit bigger lips, a little bit of a uh, thinner nose, um, I relatively gave them the same eye shape, I gave her a little bit less of a defined jaw, just kind of like what a normal girl, I got fall off my bed, kind of what like a normal girl would have, you know, compared to like Cadence, who has a little bit of a more defined jaw, a little bit thinner lips, just, you know, going with that. So this is Quinn Flynn. Ah. And yes, Cadence originally has dark brown hair, um, but she dyes it different colors, um, depending on, I guess, just how she feels. So, yeah. This is Quinn's everyday outfit. This is her formal outfit. That outfit, I completely forgot about. That is adorable. Love that, okay. Here is her athletic outfit. Oh, here's what she looks like without a bunch of makeup on, by the way. Cute. Okay. Um, here is her sleepwear. Here is her party wear. My voice gave out. <laughs> Here is her swimwear. 
here is her hot weather wear and here is her cold weather wear it's okay so quinn why are quinn's traits correct and um her sisters weren't oh my god <laughs> i'm losing my mind okay anyway <laughs> that's quinn's voice Quinn is a nerd brain. Um, she has the side trait quick learner. She's a genius, um, cheerful, and good. So the storyline I kind of have for them is, I forgot to mention that she has the side trait of gregarious because she's a party animal. But anyway, this like storyline I have going for them is they were born and Cadence is you know, has um, trans people like call it their dead name, I guess. It, her dead name was Kate, or Kaden. Um, and when they were born, obviously Quinn was a girl and Kaden was a boy. So um, Kaden always had the thoughts that he was a girl. He always wanted to be a girl and he always had, you know, never never really thought that he was a boy. He always just kind of thought he was a girl. So when he was a little bit older, um, he decided to go trans and now we have Cadence. So yeah. Um, but these two live in a little town, um, which I haven't yet decided, but I do want it to be something like that isn't like Strangerville or Suwanee or, um, What's the other town called? The Vampire Town? What's it called? You know what I mean. They live in a little town. They used to live with their parents and then their parents, um, you know, just kind of moved on with their lives and so did they. So they decided to move into this new town and I don't know, they just kind of dream of, they all, that they've always dreamt of living together and now they're finally kind of getting their wish. So yeah. Um, I don't really have a said storyline for them yet. I just know that they literally look identical in that. <laughs> I just know that I definitely want them to be super duper close because that's what I had, you know, envisioned for them. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, the plan for them is I'm thinking that I am gonna just do, um, like a simple job for Cadence and then I think I want to make little Quinn a scientist because I don't think I've done that in or on my channel yet I don't think I've had a sim scientist before um so I think I want to do that path and I think I'm gonna make it spring because I kind of planned them to have a little bit more springy outfits so yeah um this is the town I was thinking Forgotten Hollow, that's the town I was thinking about. So I don't want them to live in Suwani. I don't want them to live in the Del Sol Valley, I don't think. I don't want them to live in Strangerville. I don't want them to live in uh, San Mychuno. I think I wanna just do something simple, like, Brindleton's a cute little town. I think I want to go to Brindleton. I don't know where the Taylors had lived. I think they lived in that house before, and I don't want to live there. I know that for a fact. So let's just go ahead and move into this little house right here. Should I move into Brindleton though? Because I feel like every time I move into a town, I choose that house. Because Brindleton doesn't have many houses to choose from. Or should I move into somewhere like Windenburg? Rustic residence has two or has two two rooms or two bedrooms, one bath. Uh, okay. 
think I'm gonna do Windenburg. Well, let's do the Rustic Residence. I think. Well, we're in now. <laughs> okay. I'm excited! Um, I'm so excited to get the scientist career going because I have an off-camera like series that I play and I am a scientist in that. So I'm excited because I love the scientist career. I'm excited, okay. wasted 20 minutes just showing in off their outfits. Wow. <laughs> um, I'm stupid. Okay. Come on, game. Load. Load. Yay. Okay. such a cute little house. I don't know if I've ever lived here before. Oh my god. Okay, cool. I like this house a lot. Okay. I just got a lot more excited. <laughs> okay, let's look at their aspirations. Um, <laughs> Cadence, I'm gonna have a hard time getting used to their names. Cadence wants to introduce herself to 10 sims and have three friends which I'm pretty sure her sister already counts as a friend. Yes, okay. So that's her aspiration so far. And Quinn wants to finish reading three books and achieve level three of the logic skill. So let's go ahead and pop some things in here. First off, I wanna get them both double beds because I mean, they're both adults. They shouldn't have to have little single beds. I also want to get rid of the carpet throughout the house because I hate carpet in houses unless like kids are in the house. So that's just the way that I am though in Sims. I also don't like having, whoa, having these counters into, or unless I have like a nice, you know, kitchen, which I don't. So, you know, I'm just going to get them the same bed, I think. Pop that bed in there, sell that, and sell, oops, and sell that. Okay, now let's change the color of this bed to a more Quinn color. hate these lights like I know I'm being the pickiest person ever but I hate the lights in this house so much okay <laughs> now that I can finally breathe a little bit because <laughs> the gross lights are gone let's pop some new ones in one singular um, wood tile that's different in this room. Excuse you. Okay, now I want to buy um, a chess table for little Quinn to get her knowledge started. Oh my god. How have I not seen this yet? This is the new archway that comes with Suwani. Like to get married? Oh my god. 
when my sims, oh my god, when my island loving sims get married, you know I'm gonna be using this. Like, that is adorable. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I just got a little distracted. <laughs> that was the cutest little archway ever. <laughs> okay, um, what was I doing? Log, chess table. I was gonna say log. <laughs> log. <laughs> I need a chess table. Here we go. Let's just put it, let's put it in the house somewhere. That way if it's like cold out, we don't have to be outside. Logic. Hmm. Okay. Let's get some basic chairs because we don't have money to go all fancy. So let's go for something like that for little cadence. Um, and I hate this bathroom set so much. Oh my god. <laughs> Like, that's a definite no. But I also need to get them a uh, TV so they don't try to murder each other. Because, you know, that would be, that would be nice, right? Doesn't have to be anything, like, fancy. Just <laughs> perfect. Okay. Um, let's at least get or at least try to attempt to get a different shower because I hate that shower so much. <laughs> um, let's get a cute shower like this one. This one's nice and cute. But maybe a different color. Like that. That's really cute. I like that. And I hate that sink. I'm just spending all of their money at the moment. Okay. That sinks a little bit better and it's cheaper, so, you know, can't beat that, right? How about we try to get a little computer? Um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to, but let's at least try. I don't even know where I could put it. Let's just like put it in Cadence's room for the time being, I guess. Because like, where am I, or where else am I supposed to put it? And then let's get another one of those basic chairs. All right. <laughs> so this is their house, guys. <laughs> not in the long term. Don't be worried about that. Actually, the black one went a lot better with the house. Okay, this is their house for the time being. Not saying it's not gonna change, not saying it's gonna change, but for the time being, <laughs> this is their house. So let's get little Quinn in to, she wants to buy a bee box. I'm sorry, but that can't happen. Last time I bought a bee box, my sim died. She wants to meet someone new and read something. Um, and Cadence wants to buy a stereo and also buy a bee box. Cadence, you were asking for a death wish. She wants to chat with Quinn. We can do that. Quinn, let's get a little job going. Let's get the science courier. Scientist? Aww. They're already hugging each other. She wants to cloud gaze with Quinn. We can definitely do that. idea for what I want her to do. Is that weird? Like, part of me just wants to get her a part-time job, but I don't think I'm gonna. Probably 
let's get you in the <laughs> I really don't know the critic career I guess because that's just kind of like a basic you know thing she needs to practice oh. She needs to level up her writing skill, and she needs to have two breakthroughs. So let's go get your breakthrough. Or broke through, I guess is the right term. All right, Cadence, go practice your writing so that you can get ahead in your job. Ooh, it looks like for her job, we might be able to get a little bit of fame if Cadence goes famous. I'm gonna cry, cause like, she is adorable and deserves to be famous. Like, look at her. She's so cute. Welcome wagon. Cadence, get off the computer. Gotta go meet the like neighbors. Ah, I just did or I clicked funny introduction. I want friendly. Greek. There's another girl up here, and Crete. Okay, so she has introduced herself to one sim. What do you mean one sim? Crap, my phone's dying. Just need to plug this in before it dies and I lose my footage. One want that. fell off my bed. That could be bad. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, my bed is almost as tall as I am, which is 4'11". Love that for me. <laughs> okay. Did she like introduce herself to all these other people? Because it's not counting. Let's thank everyone for coming, because we're just nice like that. Are any of these people young adults? Young adult, adult. young adult and adult. So we have two young adults, which is Siobhan and Ma Mike, Mike, Ma Mike, 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 I don't know. And then we have more, Moira, who's an adult, and Mila, who's an adult. Oh, 
we need you to become friends with these girls so that um, you can get your aspiration going. So let's hope you get to know my, er, my character. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to know her name. Ma, ma, ma. <laughs> Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> I'm gonna call her Mike, cause I don't know. She's a snob. <sighs> I hate snobs. Um, thank her for coming. Um, ask her about her day. Discuss local fishing spots, talk about art, and news about cats, because you know, we love cats. Um, whoa, my game just glitched. Talk about the sunny weather. We <laughs> weather. <laughs> I'm stupid. I just turned my TV way too loud, because now I can't even hear myself think. Are we friends with her yet? No. Are we friends yet? <laughs> no. Come on, Mike. She's good. That's good. <laughs> We're gonna talk about art and tell a dramatic story and tell a funny story and discuss interests tell a joke about penguins discuss favorite artists tell engaging story discuss local fishing spots Quinn's just sitting here like why are there people in our house? <laughs> She looks like she's from Stranger Girl whenever she does that. <laughs> we gotta come back out and talk to this lady before she leaves. We need you to be counted in our aspiration.
There we go. Got her aspiration, or her, like, part of her aspiration. Let's ask this lady to leave because we need to do some work. Oh, she is leaving. Never mind. We need to do some work. Let's give you a little break, Quinn. Go work on your, like, stats. Get your hunger up. There's some fruitcake your sister left on the TV stand. Okay, I think she completed the thing. Yep, she completed it. Perfect. Okay. I wonder if my sims like the fruitcake. Oh, she likes it. <laughs> I've never had a sim who liked fruit or who liked the fruitcake. Fruity her fruity delicacy from eating fruitcake. Um, it's boosting her focus. Was there any fruit in that cake? Doesn't matter. It was delicious. And she likes it too. Fruity delicacy. <laughs> I've never had sims who like fruitcake. I will keep that in mind. Oh, why are all these towns giving me such photo or photographic like ideas? Is gorgeous, <laughs> and you could not tell me otherwise. Siobhan um, said, Hey, I heard you became friends with Mike, uh, she's pretty cool. Yep, Eureka, Quinn, ha er, Quinn had her first breakthrough and, er, and wrote down an idea for the momentum conserver. Uh, select the notebook button at the top uh, of the phone to learn more about it. There's no notebook button. There isn't a notebook button. Is that gonna be there forever? No. There is no notebook button. Oh, there it is, okay. Scientist career moment or er, momentum conserver. Hmm, okay, so we have our first breakthrough. Okay, let's have you. Oh my god, you guys don't have a bookshelf. Oh no, crap! I knew I was missing something. I gotta 
find a way to get a cheap bookshelf. I knew it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. What do I get rid of? <laughs> I love the rounds. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but. <laughs> Okay, this is actually cute. Okay, I'm alright with this. Perfect. Okay, now can I get an outdoor trash can? Yeah, dang it. <sighs> I was hoping I could. replaced anyway. Okay. I probably should have just gotten rid of those in the first place. <laughs> but it's okay. Alright. Quinn, let's get you doing some reading. Why don't you read this mystery book? And why don't you read some Kiss it with your sister. She had, oh, she had another breakthrough. What was that one about? Synthetic food. She read a first, or her first book. Let's get you reading another one. Is that Love and Time Sandwiches? Yep, what a classic. Cadence is like, get out of my room, Quinn. I'm trying to sleep. she finished. Let's go to bed. Alright guys, let me turn the lights off and then I'm gonna end the video. I hope you all enjoyed and if you did, please hit the like button down below and comment what you liked about it. Um, also let me know what you think of these, you know, twins. Uh, and which one is your favorite, Quinn or Cadence? Um, and I'll see you all later. Bye.